it is chilly people anyhow so haven't vlogged in for evs but this is kind of a catch-up vlog situation so um there's gonna be plenty of clips of different things um things that i actually videoed before and then life just got really hectic and with Antonio's arm and whatnot, which thank God he is on the mend. And uh, I thank you all for your prayers and to God be all the glory. Without his mercy, he wouldn't be in as good a shape as he is. And uh, yeah, so I'm just waiting on Elizabeth and I'm gonna ride out with her a second and then get home and maybe get this vlog going. So I'll talk to you guys in a second. And I am gonna try to keep up with the vlog more responsibly and um and get back on track i know i said that last time but again you know life happens i thought about maybe changing it to twice a week instead of every day but um i don't know doing like compilation vlogs i don't know we'll see how it goes though so god bless you guys and hope you enjoy the video and see you tomorrow <laughs> so megan's had some tooth some tooth issues and uh, we're going to Dr. Hensley to uh, let him get all up in that mouth. So what happened to your tooth? It fell out. The world wants to know. He said it fell out. Well, I just want everybody to know that. And I can't eat. Bun on fleek. She can't eat. She's starving. You won't be able to eat after they pull it out or I'm whatever. I'm so hungry. I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? It's just the dentist. It's just for their drills and... Scalpel shots. I don't worry about the shots. Okay. And uh, let me tell you how ghetto I am because I don't, I can't believe how much this is worth. <laughs> I have to tie it because it's four hundred some dollars. I don't. You feel me? Four hundred some dollars. Wait. Retail, four fifty. Yeah. So, in case anybody wonders, this is the Tory Burch. I paid fifteen bucks at Marshalls, but I got to keep that tied in case. You take it back. <laughs> what did he say? He didn't say anything about pulling it out. He said which one hurts the worst. So there's two of them that hurt. But that one is gnarly. So that's yeah. got to be dealt with. And it's a back tooth. So here there's a humongous giant root. <coughs> oh, it's got a root like an oak tree on it. Oh, God. Okay. It's right by my wisdom tooth. I'm just going to tell her to pull. Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> just get the wisdom tooth and that tooth. He'll gladly yank them both. I love this place. I'm a really big fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank Hey, see, I think I have appointment day after tomorrow. Gotcha. <laughs> it's like no pain dentistry. Can't beat it. Like my piercing tip. Yeah. I'm glad she could be an x ray right there. I have cancer now. <laughs> Crazy. Let's go shop. Look how pretty this is. This, we're at the helping hand, and let me tell you something that is cute. If I thought for a minute I could fit in a two, I would get in a two. I might try that. Uh -oh. oh, there's a size six. That's a whole other story. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Size two P. I guess that means petite. Two dot. No? No? See the guns. So we're at the hospital with Antonio. He has to hopefully get a cast today. He has been in a temporary since Saturday. So we'll see what happens. The wait begins. I mentioned that it was that. We need buggy? <sighs> I think we're just getting snacks. So we don't have to have a buggy. Nah, I like to just give him something to lean on with a walk. Huh. You need a walking stick. Got a new tattoo shape machine coming. 
Hold your applause. <laughs> Ew, my makeup looks much grodier Look, in the light. I buy the rotten bananas. Right. I like them black. It's all right. That's good. They're, they're right. They're right, yeah. I like when they have that buggy pull. Why's my ankle itching? For 50 cents a pack. Oh, yeah. But you know why sometimes they don't, I think? It's because people snatch them up. Well, yeah, they're good. <laughs> people say they get them to make banana food, and I get them to eat. Yeah. I get bananas and oranges every day. So good for you. So full of. All I eat is fruit. Fruit. Yeah. You're fruity. <laughs> okay. I didn't like that. Oh. I give up. Anyway. My appetite's a zonk. It's just. I have none. You I don't know why. Well, no, I did eat two plates of spaghetti. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, they still have the pumpkin spice pretzels, which those are good, but they're not good enough to buy again. I mean, they're like they're really good. Some of you may love that, you pumpkin lovers, and I'm a pumpkin lover. But <sighs> Mr. Fruit, man, yogurt. No, and it's just been crazy. But what I wanted to share with you guys today, though, is, and I'm looking at it right now, is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Collection. Because let me tell you something, for a drugstore foundation, it is. Phenomenal, and this is I got 220 natural beige. I also got 115 ivory and 225 medium beige. The reason I did that is because you never you never know when you're going to be self tanning or you know what I mean. You want to make sure you have enough colors to mix and match. And these are five dollars and ninety eight cents at Walmart. So a lot of the colors were already gone, so I just chose the ones that I could mix and match. But and I also have old self tanner on my hands. It turned green. It's too old to use. So anyway, uh, that's what the video originally was going to be. But you do what you do. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to apply this right here. And I'm going to show you guys um, just how good it is. So that's why I'm starting with zero makeup. Taking my glasses off. Blind as a bat. I always start off before I put makeup on. Always. Because I do have dry skin. With... <laughs> I'm so unprofessional with my phone videos. I'm so behind. Uh, the Olay Total Effect 7, which is $20 at Walmart. Most of the time you can find a coupon in the newspaper for um, 2 or $3 off, but unfortunately I did not have one whenever I bought this. So it was 20 bucks. Let me tell you something. It lasts forever. And. It is this in the first place. I am going to use the color corrector from Ulta, and it is in fair porcelain. So I'm going to go ahead and take the glasses off for this part. I'm just going to put it right here. Right here. Right there. Right there. Right here. Right here. Lots of places it's going. This is just for highlight. And I'm no um, big makeup expert, nor do I claim to be. I actually just recently got into makeup. I'm just jack of all trades, master of none. So, Okay, so what I want to do is I want to use my Cover FX um, or foundation brush. Hello. I'm just going to kind of blend that in there. That's all. All blending. And this is just, in case you didn't already know, which I'm sure you do, this is just going to be in the places that I want to be highlighted. Clumsy. Alright. I'm just going to mix. I may have to mix more. Those two colors that I just put on the back of my hand. I'm just mixing those guys. You know what? Let's not even... Let's just do it. I can't get it all off my hand. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips, but um, contouring is just a dark shade in areas that you want to be contoured. Now, that looks scary, I know, but don't panic. I promise there is a method to this madness. I need to be definitely looking in this mirror and not at you all because... 
If not, then I want to mess up. So you want to put it under there to give like a shadow, and it makes you know it gives you a your pants are thinner face line or chin line. I didn't show your double chin is bad. So I was gonna do this quickly. So I don't even know what kind of stuff that was I just used. I lost the lid to it and it's dark and that's what I use for bronzer. Now the next thing I want to do and then we'll get to lips. Um, this is just an LA Colors um, actually. It was like, I don't know how much it was. Tasha actually gave this to me but it's just it's a pink. You can't even tell. You see it's like a mauve pink and I'm just going to take that on the smiley parts of the cheeks. And I got big old chubby cheeks. What can you do? Okay. And now that I've done that, I shouldn't be using the same brush for all of this, but I've actually got my phone propped up. My foot is totally asleep right now. But now I want to take that uh, powder and I'm just going to get to blending. Get the blend and hop on that. Okay. And you'll see once you blend, well, you can't tell in this stupid lighting, but I promise once you, I want to move this camera so bad so the lighting will be more normal, but I'm so afraid it's going to fall. Okay. So once you blend it in, you're going to find that it's not at all as dark. As you started out with, so no worries there. Um, greeny yellow tint under the eyes. Um, I need to pluck my eyebrows, so I'm just gonna take this little spoolie brush, do a little brushy brush. I'm not gonna put any color on them, on the eyebrow gel or wax or color anything, so I'm not even gonna go there. I'm not even gonna go all the way with that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to preview this beautiful Charlotte Tilbury. Um, or Tilbury um, lipstick in So Maryland that Ashley so sweetly gave me. Um, so pretty, but maybe I'll do that like totally separately one day. Oh gosh, I need this lip liner and it's right behind my phone and it made it. Okay, I'm just using this. It's actually a brow liner. Actually, Ashley gave me a fantastic lip liner. And I see it. It's right by my phone. I should have grabbed it. Matter of fact, I'm going to grab it. Oh, let me put my glasses on so I can make sure I'm grabbing the right thing. It sucks not being able to see. This is the NYX um, lip liner and it is in the color Cola and it's 832. So I'm going to just choose that. On the lips. And I do go outside of the natural on the top just because I have a fuller bottom lip. And I like my top lip to match, if not be even bigger than my bottom lip. It's just my preference. You can do what you want. Then I'm going to take this, um, what is this guy called? It's a magic. It's, this is the Wet n Wild Balm Stain Mega Slicks and it is in the color Nudist Colony, which I would never be a nudist. But something's on it. Anyway, it's very nude. Almost. <laughs> very, very nude. Almost the same color as my lips. And I know, I know you can still see the line. Don't panic. We're getting there. Then I'm going to use this LA Colors uh, Natural Shine number BLC16. I don't even know. It's kind of a nude shade. Uh, 
God, my tongue looks all red. I'm gonna go right over top of all that. So then I'm gonna drop everything again because I'm clumsy as a bull in a china shop. I'm gonna take this, um, just a lip gloss. Okay, so as you see, okay, I want to make sure that it doesn't look crazy kooky dark because it really doesn't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do eyes. I'm just going to keep it simple. As you see, I don't look as, you know, discolored and patchy colors and all that. I wish I had a better camera. But anyway, I'm going to use the um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar. This is not the semi-sweet. This is the first one. Um... Lots of pretty colors. I haven't used even a nowhere near half. Two eyes. Already said that. Anyway, I am going to use the chocolate bar palette and I'm going to start with this guy right here, which you can't even see, but it's a white pink. And this is my favorite color just because it's just so gentle and it's just very very light baby pink but it's not baby pink in a childish way you know what I mean it's it's just a very gentle color and I'm gonna put that on my lid in the corner just a little bit and yeah so I'm almost ready to hit pan on that bad boy. I have used it a lot. That's my favorite color. If I could just buy that color, I would be happy. So you can't tell a whole lot right now. Because really there's not a lot going on. Then the next thing I'm going to do, like in my crease and whatnot, is going to be this guy. And it has all the names on them on this plastic thing, but I'm not going through all of that. So I kind of go a little bit on the bone, in the crease and on the bone. And then right here in the corner. I'm not good at all the blending and all that. And I used to think it's because I bought cheap makeup. But then, you know, I paid 50 bucks for this palette. And I still haven't even came close to mastering. And yes, I've watched many YouTube videos and it still is not registering with me how on earth these young girls are doing such a fantastic job so kudos to you guys because oh because i'll be messing it up okay. right there and i'm just gonna go right uh, yeah right underneath them brows them big hairy brows just as a highlight color then i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna take that pink again and I'm just going to use it all over again. What that's going to do is neutralize some of that dark so it's not so bad. And it kind of blends it. And like I said, I'm no makeup artiste. I'm just bored. I already cooked supper. Jack did his homework and etc. so on. And so I just thought, you know what, I need to catch up on my videos. That's all I'm doing. Next, we're going to go with eyeliner, and I'm going to use the Too Faced, what the heck even is this guy called? Too Faced Perfect Black, but I mean, what well, black isn't perfect? It's all black, right? And I'm going to do a very, thin. I mean, this is, I guess there is differences of black, because this sucker is black. Pigmented, I guess you call it. In the... Ooh, fancy makeup world. There's not much room for error with this stuff. It's oh my. I uh, retract my statement that all black eyeliners are the same because this one is not. I've only used it a couple of times, and ooh, doggies. But anyway, now I'm just going to use the Ulta Amped Lashes. This came free with purchase whenever um the first day I went to Ulta. And I think it was the first day, first or second time I went. And this is really good. The other one I bought from them, I forget what it was called. It was Ultra Brand. I forget what color the tube was, but it was horrible. But this stuff, 
pretty good. And I have really weak lashes. They're really basic. And uh, this little eyelash regimen that I'm doing right now, they end up being pretty good. Okay. Now bottom lashes. I just gently do those. My, I just don't have those big giant eyes like a lot of you guys have. So and I got way too much mascara on this eye. So this eye is going to look different than the other eye. So whatever. And I'm sorry if I have boogers on my nose. I have nose hairs. And I do not clip them. Maybe I should look into that. I really hate that I messed up my eyeliner. But anyhow. It's close enough. So now that I've done that. I'm just going to give that a half a second. To dry. Dry your eyes girl. Okay. Now that I've done that. I'm going to take the Too Faced Size Queen. Tell you something. I hated this stuff when I first got it. I paid like $25. Look at that wand. It's huge. I wasn't impressed at first, but now, over top of this amp, I like it. So, I paid for it dearly. Because <laughs> y'all know what a sheepskate I am, so I am going to use it. Okay. The whole point of this video is supposed to be about the fit me, but it's turned into me globbing on all this makeup that I was going to end up washing right back off. I'm stupid. Uh, bottom lashes are a little scary with this because it's as big as my eye. You know what I'm saying? Scary. But, and I know I look like I probably got spider eyes, but I don't even give a curve. You see, this stuff works good, like this together, pairing them up, because I don't have, like, really curly long lashes, like a lot of you guys. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. So... Last but not least, I think that's it. I think that's all I need to do. Sorry about my... Okay. I think that's all that I need to do. Um, I am going to go back over everything with one last time with the Fit Me powder just to kind of... I don't know. I don't, I don't even know that this needs to be done. I guess I just feel like... Like it just sets everything in place. You know what I mean? Maybe it's OCD. Maybe not. 